When we think about reducing air and noise pollution in our cities, what role can big data play? And are there as many opportunities as there are challenges? I think big data can play a major role in helping us make more efficient systems um, and also in tracking imp impacts of, of different interventions. Uh, and I think increasingly we're seeing that data is the real asset in a mobility system. And so we, we, what we need to do is really keep track of who owns this asset, uh, whether there's a transfer of data from the public sector to the private sector. There's a lot of new mobility services coming online which offer I think tremendous value to the public, um, but then there's a, there's a bit of a disagreement right now over who should get to own that data. Um, you have you know uh, ride sharing companies that don't want to share data with uh, the public sector on where people are moving because of uh, trade secrets. Uh, but really, I think these businesses are built on public infrastructure, and in order for the public to keep up the quality of that infrastructure and to to serve the public and these businesses as well, uh, there needs to be data sharing there so that we can continue to uh, improve the efficiency and really just optimize our mobility system. And when we talk about sustainable mobility, you were very keen to point out that it's not just about electric cars. It's got to be much more than that. Yeah, I, I think really we, what we have to remember is that mobility is not a primary good. No one consumes mobility for the sake of consuming mobility. What we all want is access. That's the primary good. And we'll, we'll sit in a car, we'll walk, or we'll bike um, as long as we have to to get where we want to go. And so it's really about connecting people with where they want to go more than it is about a, a shiny new technology or, or, or making cars work better. Um, it's really just about getting, at the end of the day, we have to ask people, are we getting people where they want to go? Do people have access? And then I think we also have to start with a vision of what kind of community we want, what kind of city we want, and what kind of life we want. Um, and I think, you know, every th whenever we're talking about a, v a technology, whether it's electric cars or autonomous cars, we just have to ask ourselves, is it getting us closer to this ideal of the city we want or of the life we want?